So a common problem I get asked about Google Ads is what match type should I be using? And this is kind of unique to everyone's situation, but in this video, I'm going to walk you through what the best match type is for you in your situation, what the different match types are, and how to go about changing them inside your account if you choose to do so. So let's start off with the basics and identify what the different match types are. As you can see here, we have three different options when it comes to match types broad match, phrase match, and exact match. Now these three different match types play very heavily on how effective your Google ads are going to be and really what the outcomes for your overall account are going to be. If you choose the correct one, if you choose the wrong one, uh, you can have massive effects on whether or not your account is successful or not successful. So it is very important to choose the correct match type. And I'm gonna go over what each of them are. Firstly, broad match is going to be the most lenient match type there is. And this means essentially if you typed in, let's say HVAC services, and that's a keyword we want to target, we want to put our ads up for, and we put it into broad match, our ad can pop up for anything related to HVAC services. So we could pop up for competitor brand names, we could pop up for HVAC DIY services, we could pop up for HVAC services hiring, like there is so many things we can pop up for. Now, broad match on the example I just gave you may not sound great. And for most service based businesses, we tend to stay away from broad match because it's so lenient and it goes after so many different search terms that it's really not worth using. Now, if you have a massive account and you're spending upwards of $50,000, even $100,000, dollars a month broad match may make a lot of sense because you need to spend the money somewhere and it can really target everything and you don't have to have tons of keywords to do this however if you have a limited budget anywhere from a thousand to ten thousand maybe even a bit more than that chances are you're just going to waste too much ad spend for broad match to be profitable and i would generally recommend staying away from it if your budget is in that price range so broad match again very good for finding new keywords however on a long-term basis broad match isn't great for low to medium sized budgets just because it is so lenient and it will target absolutely everything. So I tend to stay away from broad match for our service based businesses, uh, just because again, it is too lenient and I don't really like it. It's waste, it can waste a lot of ad spend, especially if you're not going into the search terms report and adding negatives on a regular basis. Now the next one is phrase match and really phrase match for a long time was my favorite type of match type. And this was because it gave you enough leniency to discover new keywords while still staying in the actual range of keywords we wanted to target. So if we typed in, you know, HVAC services near me, we could only pop up for phrases that included HVAC services near me. And that could be like HVAC services near me in Hamilton, near me in New York City, near me in, uh, you know, Florida. There, It was really, really great. And Google recently changed this and it made phrase match a lot more lenient. So instead of having to have the actual keyword in every single phrase that it popped up to, it changed it to the meaning of the keyword. And Google's AI has a lot of different meanings when it comes to actually keywords. So I think phrase match has gotten a little too lenient. We still use it in most of our accounts. And this is because we still want to expand. We still want to explore the account. However, phrase match, I think has gotten a little too lenient and it targets a lot of services. And if you're brand new to Google ads and you're setting up your own account, phrase match may be too lenient. And if you don't have the time to go into the actual search terms report, uh, chances are you're going to be wasting a lot of ad spend on keywords you don't want to target. And if you're not adding those negatives, again, you're going to spend a lot of money on, on a lot of keywords you just don't want to go after. And it's going to lead to wasted ad spend. That being said, phrase match is a great match type to actually use for sales based businesses uh, you just have to keep on top of it and make sure you're not going after keywords you don't want to go for because phrase match is still pretty lenient for people who are new to google ads uh, if you're used to running google ads and you're optimizing your google ads account on a regular basis i think phrase match is fine you should be able to use it quite well but please make sure to keep an eye on it the last match type is exact match and exact match used to actually mean exact match, which is if you typed in lawn mowing service as the example here, as a keyword you wanted to advertise for, and the person in Google actually typed in lawn mowing services with an S, your ad would not pop up. That's how exact it was. Now Google has gotten a lot more lenient in what exact match actually means. It just has to have the exact same meaning. And that is pretty much where we want to be for Google ads for a lot of our service based businesses. I absolutely love exact match. It can be quite tedious finding new keywords using exact match because of how tightly themed keywords actually are. But if you have found keywords that you really like and are profitable, I think exact match is the best way to go just because you are going to target that exact keyword and it's going to be something that can produce results again and again. So I really like exact match, especially for people who are newer to Google ads. You're 
you're not going to waste a whole bunch of advertising dollars on keywords you don't want to target for. Can keywords that you don't want to target still pop up in exact match? Absolutely. You could pop up for competitors. However, exact match is really good at really only targeting the keywords you want to go after. So it is the safest bet if you're new to Google ads. And I generally recommend if you're brand new, start your Google ads campaign off in exact match. I would much rather start a campaign slower if you're new to Google ads, then build up as opposed to spend a whole bunch of money, lose it, and then go, oh, well, we should have started off an exact match or phrase match. That's just what I recommend. It's a more of a fail safe for a lot of people. So those are the three different types of keyword match types. Now, which one should you actually be using inside your campaign? And I love the combination of using phrase match and exact match for service-based businesses. And what we do with phrase match is essentially use it as an exploratory keyword. So we're looking and trying to find new keywords for this actual campaign. And then once we find keywords that actually convert, we convert them over into match types, build out their own ad groups, and then see how profitable they are and if we should keep them in their own ad groups and you know build out ads around them and make sure they're even more profitable uh, for our campaign. Pain. Exact match again is like a placeholder. So if we find a keyword we really like, we'll throw it into exact match and then it's there permanently. So now we can adjust everything. We can adjust the ad, we can adjust the landing page, and we can really monitor the quality score to get the most results out of that particular keyword. For service based businesses, I generally don't recommend broad match. If you have a massive budget and a massive sales team, broad match can be the way to go, especially if you're going to try and optimize through Google's AI. Broad match really gives all the control over to Google. However, if you don't have a massive budget, broad match is generally not the way to go just because it is too lenient and you're going to waste a lot of ad spend. However, there are a lot of circumstances where broad match can be profitable. Uh, if you have super low search volume and service-based service businesses, broad match might be the way to go uh, just so you can find all those little keywords that you weren't able to find with phrase and exact match. However, there's a lot of other things you can try first before switching over to broad match and I would really recommend doing those things instead of just switching to broad match. So for most people, I would recommend a combination of phrase and exact match. If you're brand new, I would say just start off at exact match. It's a very very safe match type. You're not going to just spend a whole bunch of money on random keywords. And I think that's best for most people. By the way, if you're interested in optimizing your Google ads account, check out our Google ads optimization checklist. The link is down below. It's completely free. It walks you through everything you should be doing on a weekly, monthly, and three month basis inside Google ads. You can list down your results, check everything off once you're done it. And it's really helpful for making sure you remember everything inside Google ads. Again, the link for the Google ads optimization checklist is down below. Now, if we are to change our actual match types inside Google ads, all we have to do is actually come over here to the campaign and then come to one of our ad groups that we want to change the keywords in. So let's do pool builders. And then we're going to click on keywords. As you can see, our keywords are in phrase match right now. If we wanted to change it to broad match, all we have to do is click on match type and hit broad match. If we wanted to change it to exact match, all we have to do again is click on the match type and then change it to exact match. Again, you'll see this little arrow here. All you have to do is click on it and it will successfully change your keyword to whatever match type you choose to use. Now that is keyword match types all summed up. Again, I normally recommend phrase or exact match. It generally works out best. If you're brand new to Google ads, I say go with exact match. That way you're not going to lose a whole bunch of money. I do have one major favor to ask, and that is to hit the like button. We put a lot of time and effort into these videos. So if you can hit that like button, it is muchly appreciated. It helps the YouTube algorithm out and allows our channel to grow. And if you didn't like the video, you can hit the dislike button. It's up to you. Again, check out the Google ads optimization checklist. That should help you out quite a bit if you're brand new to Google ads and you really want to op optimize your campaign to its fullest potential. Also, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.